All right, it's the next day now. Mike took that crank home and he's going to fix that. He's going to clad weld that. And uh, I thought this would be a perfect opportunity while we had it apart for me to clean it up and paint it. So I already took this apart and uh, soaked that in gasoline, cleaned all the grease off it and wire wheeled it. And then the valve cover, and the oil fill, and the oil drain. Cleaned that all up. That's all ready to uh, just wipe down with some lacquer thinner and paint. I don't think I'll be able to paint for a couple of days because it's pretty windy out. But uh, I still have to clean this up. I didn't want to take this off because it's already set, but I think I'm, I'm going to take this off and take this off because I think it'll look better if we put that, we put a, a right angle on there, put an elbow on there, have it down here, have it tight to the engine so you can uh, adjust it, you know. I don't, I don't like uh, big appendages hanging off of engines, just don't look right. So that's what I'm going to do. And then we can uh, maybe even shorten it up because then we wouldn't need this. We just put a street elbow on there and we wouldn't need a coupler. So, yeah, well, it, it was just, like I said, it's just a, a temporary setup for us to, to see if this thing is going to work. So that's uh, what we're going to do. Yeah, I always get a lot of questions how I clean these engines to paint them. And uh, it's really not, not uh, anything special. I just uh, get a tub of gasoline. That Obama gas has a lot of alcohol in it, so the alcohol really eats into the, the paint and actually peels it and strips it off. So uh, I use that, and then just before I get ready to paint it, I uh, I clean it down with lacquer thinner. That gets rid of all the petroleum oils and everything else that are on there. So all right, let me clean this guy up here and uh, paint it. I think we're going to paint it with the the bronze or the copper color hammer tone. Because everybody really likes the, the four cylinder we got. And we pretty much used every other color, so I think maybe we'll go with that. I'll run it past Mike, see what he says. He really doesn't care much about the colors, so he'll probably agree with me. Alright, enough rambling. Let's uh, clean this baby up. Alright, I took this, uh, I guess, adjusting valve or whatever you want to call it. I took it off. I'm going to take this off now, but while I was looking at this, let me turn this light on here. I, uh, you know, the seal felt okay and everything, or actually it, it looked okay, I should say. But then I was just feeling it, and uh, it's hard as a rock, so. Uh, I thought I had some laying around, I wasn't too sure, but then I, I found these laying around. New old stock. And it, uh, I think it's the right size. So, uh, I guess I'll rip that seal out of there. I'm lucky. I don't know why I picked these up. Probably for another engine, but... Uh, we'll stop. And they're soft. You know what I mean? They're supple. So, uh, they work pretty good. Alright. Okay, it's another day. And I had the engine sitting in this uh, five-gallon pail here. With gasoline overnight so let's take it out of here can't really grab it with one hand so uh, you might get a little drippage here uh, just put it up in here okay and now I'll just uh, I'll take that bottle brush and get in between all the fins and everything and I got a wire brush here and a regular brush and uh, I should get all the, the grease off of this. Just from sitting there, you can actually see it's, uh, it's pretty clean. So I shouldn't have too much trouble. I'm going to pop that piston out. That piston just sitting in there right now. And clean out the rings and everything. Alright, let me get to that. Alright, degreased it, got all grease off of it. And uh, now I'm going to stick it in the vise and uh, get what little paint it has on there. When they painted these, I don't know if you see here, but they they didn't use primer or nothing, you know, they just sprayed them and they lasted this long. So uh, I'm going to hit it with a wire wheel real fast just to get off the loose stuff and uh, we should be alright. Maybe uh, if the wind dies down a little bit, uh, we'll get some paint on it. Took the piston out and uh, the inside this is perfect, unbelievable. 
Even a connecting rod. I didn't even clean this connecting rod yet. I just pulled it out and uh, wiped it off. And uh, that, that uh, wrist pin and everything's as tight as can be. Okay, let me put this in the vise and uh, hit it with a wire wheel. Alright, I, I cleaned it up pretty good. Got about at least 95%, maybe even 99% of the, the paint off of it, so I'm happy. I did notice a part that I didn't like here. I don't know if you see this, but this is uh, these are factory grind marks and stuff. And that don't look too bad. But when you turn over here, they really hacked the crap out of it right here. So I might try and hit that with a with a rough sanding disc. I really don't want to do any body work, but uh, that's what you get, right? These things weren't meant to be show pieces. Just a, a bad casting, and they probably just want to make sure that it was all right. So well, let me see what I can do with that. All right, I cleaned it up a little. I mean, uh, this side will pass. It looks okay. And this side here, not much I can do with it, but it does it does look a little better. I got at least I got this off. That was all uh, chopped up, and uh, this here I cleaned that up a little bit, and even over here. So uh, I call that good. I'd say it's uh, ready for paint. Oh yeah, to get inside these fins here, you guys wonder how you get inside them fins and clean them up. You get these little wire bottle brushes. And that fit right inside there. And I cleaned that thing right up. So, yeah, they're good to have variety sizes. Just two brass, and uh, here's one steel. But uh, they're good to have around. All right. We'll get ready to paint this now. Okay, I brought this outside here, and I got a little pan. And uh, got some lacquer thinner here. And I'm just going to pour it on there. And. Uh, Make sure there's a little bit in the in the sump there. And then I'm going to use that brush and uh, brush in and out of fins around it. So let me do that. All right, I'm happy that that's clean. Now I'm just going to blow it down. You can see from the color of that. I mean, there really wasn't much dirt on there at all. Just uh, you're just getting that gasoline. You know, gasoline's oil based. And you're getting it off. So. I'm going to blow this down and uh, this will be ready to paint. Oh shit, what's going to happen? Alright, it's only lacquer thing, it'll evaporate. Calm down, calm down. There we go. The stuff's only about twenty dollars a gallon, so let me clean this one up, and then uh, we're ready to paint. I'm ready. All right, I think I'm ready to paint here. I'm gonna try something different. This is what I, I usually do, and I've always had good success with it. I'd I'd prime it with this, and then uh, spray it. This is the color I was going to use. Uh, spray it with this stuff. But uh, when I was in a store, I seen this color here, and I kind of liked it. It's not a silver or a black or gray. It's uh, it's like a pewter, and I think it would look good. But anyway, uh, instead of priming it and painting it, you know that would take a whole lot of steps and stuff and a, a lot more time. They had this stuff here, and it says paint and primer in one. So I never tried it, but uh, I'm going to try it and hope for the best. I'm all taped up here and uh, got this on a little peg so I can paint that get around it. Okay, and this here I put a little handle on so I can spray it, hold it in one hand and spray it get all the way around it and stuff. And this one I just got two bolts in there so I can uh, pick it up and turn it do what I have to do with it. Alright, it's about 40 degrees out there so what I'm going to do is uh, it's in here, it's in front of the heater, and uh, it's warm enough, so I'm going to open the door, go out, spray it, and come right back in, and it should be okay. It won't be out there long enough to cool off, so uh, I'm going to try that. 
I gotta say, I'm not very happy with it. It's, uh, it's starting to hammer up a little bit, but uh, not very much. And it's, it's spitting out of this can, almost like it's a defective can, so I'm not so sure. Here's the other piece here. You probably got some glare, so it's going to be tough to see, but uh, like I say, I'm not very happy with it. I haven't sprayed this yet, and I'm, I'm debating whether to spray it or not. I think maybe I'll spray it. That way, at least it'll, this will have a prime coat or whatever. And if I don't like it, I mean, if it's uh, totally unacceptable, maybe I'll, I'll just go get a can of the other stuff and uh, try that. All right, let me see what it, let me see what it looks like. Uh, here's the can up next to it. Uh, you tell me. Don't look anything like it. And I know Road King knows how to paint, so I can't blame it on the painter. And like I say, it, it was spitting out there and pouring over my hands, so I think I, I think I got a bad can. All right, check this out. I hate putting so much work into something and have it come out looking so shitty. But uh, see if you can see if it's spitting or what do you think? You hear it? It's left-handed too. You hear it's like it's almost barely coming out and it's bubbling up. All right, let me put the camera down and spray this right-handed. Let that tack up a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not happy. Yeah, I'm not happy with this at all. You know, it's just spitting and sputtering and puking and, you know. So I think I'm gonna let this dry. Even where it did start to model up and stuff, you know, it looked more runny than anything. So I'm gonna let this dry and sand that and I'm gonna get another can and hope the other can is better. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe find a different color. But at least it has a base coat on here now. Alright, we'll fix it. Don't worry, Tubes, we'll fix it.